Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So I kind of went shopping again, maybe, you know, it's not like me to do anything like that. <laughs> but MAC has this new collection out, it's called Hot Dogs, but it's H-A-U-T-E, not H-O-T, so we're not eating hot dogs here. But the displayer for this thing is super cute, let me show you. I was just going to insert a picture, but then I was like, well, I don't know if that's like copyright and I'm going to get in trouble, so I didn't. But this is what it looks like. Let's see if you can see it. Anyway, it's got the girls done up like super high fashion and then their dogs who also look super high fashion. And it's beautiful. Like I love the colors that are on them. It's really nice. So I was really inspired by that picture and I was like, oh, those are like edgy neutrals, something about it that I just really liked. And then let's be honest, the biggest reason that I was like, oh, shopping, my vice. I love brushes. So we're going to start off with the brushes. When I saw that they had limited edition brushes to go with this collection, done. Brushes are my favorite thing, so clearly I had to have them. And they're really, really, really soft. Like, really soft. So the first one is a MAC 139. Dual fiber, but it has like this dome shape to it. I imagine this is going to be perfect for putting on blushes. And Again, I have been using Retin-A and my 129 has been hurting my face. Not because it's itchy scratchy, but because my face is super sensitive. And I am looking forward to using this guy. And you can also use this for liquid foundations and whatnot and buff it onto your skin. But the shape on this is just much different. It's unlike any of the other ones I have. I love my MAC 187. It's bigger, this, bigger than this than the 188 is smaller and again this is more of a dome shape instead of that like I don't know rectangular I don't know it's just different so the MAC 139 this one was the most interesting to me out of the collection it is the MAC 161 so this has a nice angle to it and this I do believe is mainly for foundation but it can also apply contour and blush and everything else really nicely it kind of fits right on your cheek so right now all the bristles without putting pressure are hitting from down here all the way up around my cheekbone so i'm looking forward to playing with this one but it's just really cool with this angle that it has again dual fiber so powders or liquids and then there's one eye brush that is special edition and this one is 288 so this is a little, or a lot softer than the MAC 287, longer than the 239, but I don't know. I imagine this is going to put on eyeshadow really well. I wanted to use it today for my eye look, but I didn't want to get it dirty and not be able to use it. But this, I think, will do really well with concealer under the eye if you like using brushes as well. So dual fiber, powders, or liquids. So the brushes definitely have to be my favorite part of this collection, but like I said, brushes are my favorite part of makeup, so it's kind of a given. The next thing that I got were a pair of quads. And there's three quads in the collection, but only two of them are limited edition, so I grabbed those. The other one I think is a glimmer of gold, but you can get that one anytime, so I wasn't really inspired to get it. I'm like, eh, whatever, it's permanent. This one right here, I used it today. <laughs> this is called Posh Pedigree, and I love that name. So it is a mixture of gold, not gold, mixture of silver and gray tones. This is what I have on my lids right now. But then this shade right here has a slight hint of green to it, so super gorgeous. And normally, I never put shadows on without at least using a matte transition shade. And I didn't do that. Like, who would have thought? So this worked out really well, blended out very well, and I like the pigmentation. You can use these wet or dry, so very nice. The other quad is called Pure Bread. Again, so it's with that hot dogs kind of name theory. So this one's Pure Bread, and this is leading more towards the like, coppery purple 
goodness. <laughs> I have this one, like I have this shade right here underneath my lash line very lightly and this one in the inner corner because I was like, well, I'm just gonna use one and then I couldn't pick one so I used them both. Two of the Fluid Line eyeliners were limited edition so I grabbed both of those and one of them is called Catch My Eye. And this is a beautiful silver. When I first saw it, I didn't know if it was really going to pick up or if it was gonna be way too sheer. And swatched, you can see how pigmented it is. And I put it very, very lightly, like right over that shade on my inner corner, just to give it a little extra something, something. And it has tiny reflex of glitter in here, but it's flipping beautiful. The other one is the one I'm wearing as eyeliner right now. It is a, it's kind of the color of my nails, which is kind of crazy. But like if you look, you see my nails and see, yeah, it's really pretty. So kind of a plum, that's what I would say, plum burgundy, something like that. And this one's called Great Dame. Yeah, Dame, I almost said Dame, like the puppy dog. Um, still super beautiful, it applied very nicely. I didn't have any issues with it and I think it's gorgeous. The other two in the line were Black Track, which we all know Black Track is just a black gel liner, I almost said liquid. And then the other one is Rich Ground and I've had this one for a while so I've used a little bit of it. But because I had it in my collection already, I figured I would show you guys. This is a awesome coppery brown color. It's really pretty. But again, this is from the permanent line, so you can get this anytime, so. <laughs> and you guys, <laughs> matte nail polishes, I'm obsessed with, especially after they have reformulated them. And I ordered two because I was like, okay, one looks like skin, which I've gone through like five bottles of, and I think I wanted the other, I think there was another one. I don't remember, but I got two. And I specifically made my nail appointment around getting these nail polishes. And my UPS guy is always here at nine o'clock, always. And, but just to be safe, I made my appointment for 12 and I was like, surely I'm gonna have my nail polish. <laughs> no. And you better believe that they dropped off my package about 10 minutes after I had to leave. Oh, I was so mad. So this is not the polish I wanted on my nails. It is pretty, but it's not what I wanted. What I wanted to put on them is this one right here, Vintage Vamp. It's so gorgeous. I love it. It is like flipping vampire blood red uh, with a little hint of purple in here. I love this color and I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna put on my nails next. Right now it is on my toes. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you guys my toes, but it's a really pretty color. And then the next one is a very deep slate gray. And this one is a snazzy hound. And this is what it looks like. I've used this one on my toes as well. Like <laughs> I had to use them both because I needed to see what they both look like. So I put one on and like the next day I switched it. This one's really pretty. You will be seeing these colors on my nails. And I love this. Even my nail tech was like, yeah, these are really nice nail polishes. They're comparable to OPI. They're really great. And like I said, if you didn't like them before, they have been reformulated. Next up, I grabbed one lipstick and I accidentally got the wrong one, but it's totally fine. This one is Nose for Style. And when I swatched it at first, I was like, ew, I don't like it. But then when I put it on my lips, it was much deeper, like more of a red tone, and I do like it. So swatched, I was kind of like, eh, mm, I don't care. But I put it on and it's much better. So I'm happy with this purchase. And it's got this really nice, it's magnetic. Like, ah, oh, so nice. And this one is very, very hydrating, moist, not moisturizing, I think it should just be hydrating. It's comfortable on your lips, it's not dry. If you like max lusters, but you want a little bit more pigmentation, go with the Mineralize. They feel really nice on your lips. And then I got one gloss, and this is the gloss that I have over my lip right now. And on my lips, I have Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lipstick, and then this gloss on top. This isn't really anything special, it's just I really liked the nude. 
and it has a little tiny bit of sparkle in there. Not like the chunks, not like dazzle glass or anything like that, just real soft. And this is a muted pinkish tone nude. And it's just really pretty. This is something I would like to throw in my purse so that I can put something on my lips. My favorite gloss that I've ever had has been the mineralized ones because they're not sticky, but then they're not not sticky. So if that makes any sense at all, I don't, like the cream sheens, you don't feel on your lips at all, I don't think, but then the lip glass is really sticky, so this is kind of in between. Oh, uh, and I guess you guys probably want to know the name of it. <laughs> it's called Lap Dog. <laughs> so that's it for all the new stuff I got, but there are a few things that I already had in my collection as well. So part of it is a shade and sculpt line that they are adding to it, but I have this huge palette here with all the ones that I use on a daily basis. And one of the colors that you can get with the collection is Light Sweep. And that's this one right here. I actually don't use this very often because it doesn't really do anything for my skin tone. But for my kit, it's great. So this is what this one looks like. But I didn't grab any of the other ones because I really, I like this guy. I feel like one of these is in the, is it Shadis? One of these other ones is also in the collection. I just can't remember which one. <laughs> And then also, you guys, I'm sure are familiar with MAC Soft and Gentle and Cheeky Bronze. So both of these highlights, they are both permanent, so you can get your hands on them at any time. That is everything that I got, you guys. Again, super cool collection. I really like this. I know it's nude, not necessarily anything fancy, but I really liked the colors this time, and typically I really don't care about these colors. And I don't know, I think it's pretty. So if you guys want to get your hands on this collection, it came out online last week and then it came out in stores yesterday. So I'm sure you can still get your hands on it. And I highly recommend it. If nothing else, the brushes, you need the brushes. <laughs> I love the brushes, so I can't wait to use these. Anywho, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys, and come back.